Okay, good day, guys. So, we are doing fine today. We'll be learning how to design our business logo like this. Okay, this is like a full business logo on PZ Lab. This image now, our logo, is on PNG. You can use it in any background. For any background, you can download background and put it. So, without wasting much time, I'm going to pick a default page. And this is the paper size we'll be using 1280 by 1700. Let's take note. Okay, 1280 by 1700. So now, I'm sure you already have a logo. If you don't have a logo, you can look for a shape, get a shape, put your right up under, make it your logo so that you'll be able to design something like this. Okay. I'm reducing it, locate and place it there on top. I want you to follow the step to step guide. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to bring in another shape. I'll change the color. We're using this color. This color, this purple color. Okay. Can you see it once I do in the video, okay? Now uh, do it like that, then you copy it. This one that you copy now you send it to the bottom. Okay. And you leave it there. Now I want to bring in another shape. Let's change the color to this gradient. Gradient is on gradient now. We'll be using this one. It's dark purple. Okay. Okay. It. So this is a gradient color. Okay. Now I place it there in the center. Now I want to bring in a text. Okay. We sell quality. Mm. Mm. China um, oh dear. Follow the steps in the in the video guys, it's not hard. Okay. You have to be careful when you are writing so that your spellings will tally. Make your work smooth and correct. So we are going to pick a font. Pick a font. Let's use this font on our thumb board. Now align. I'm going to align it. Align it to the center. Then align. Make sure it's in the center. Then you go to sizing. Can increase the size in later. Let's leave it at 31. Okay, place the shape in the center. Then you place your right top in the center too. So we want to texture that right top now. Okay, I'm going to texture it with this gold. This gold background. Okay. Can you see? Can you see that's where I got that gold? Then we we'll leave it like that. Can you see? Make sure the work is straight. Make sure it's straight. Let's bring this up a bit. Are we following, guys? Okay. Then let's merge. We merge it too. Then you okay so that you can move it. Are we following guys? Now um, let's bring this one down a bit. 
Let's bring this ship down a bit. So the next thing we want to do now, I want to bring in another text. Okay. Ensure your work is straight, okay? And use your grid line, check your work. Now, I want to bring in another text. I want to write other services. Stop. Other services. So I'm, I'll be using this font. Add padding, add padding, you can make it 5-5. Five five. It's okay, it's good. Then we go to font, this font. We'll be using Alivia Regular. This one. You can use a less brush, but I'll be using this for this tutorial. Now let's increase the size a bit. Can you see? Change the color to black. Okay, then we bold it. Go to bold text. This one, make it bold. Can you see? Then we place it in the center. In the center now. Let's move it down a bit. Leave it there. So the next thing we want to write now. We want to bring in another text again. Follow the steps in the video guys. Okay. I want to write wholesale. So this is the main content now of the flyer. Okay, what what the 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 hair sales company what they offer wholesale Retail same thing. In case you want to design a hair sales um, flyer or a hair sales um, uh, marketing banner, you can use something like this. Okay, so now revamping. Revamping Begin of Hair of Hairs. So that's it. So you go to place everything in the center. Align is that align centralize it okay arrange your work then you go to font pick a font for this look for a good font look for a good font you will be using this blogger sample too this blogger sample go to size make it 36 or make it 38 remember is the content so now I want to texture it okay I'm going to texture it with this this color okay remember you can texture your work and you see guys then I leave it and you see it's not struggling for attention it's very eye catchy now I place it in the center Align your work. Make sure your work is always in the center, guys. So now, I want to bring in this icon. You can go to Google, search for Instagram icon PNG. Google.com, search for Instagram icon PNG, WhatsApp icon PNG, Facebook icon PNG. Or call icon PNG, you get everything. 
then you go to bg remove to remove the background or you go to www.slaza.com to remove the background there are various sites that you can use to remove background for free so bring in these icons the icon has a lot of work that it does too it gives your your, your audience the impression that yeah you are you are really organized you have all the social media handle so you place them there use your grid line check your work make sure it's straight okay make sure your work is straight especially if you are working as a freelancer you work for a client on offline ensure your work is properly arranged before you give them for even the first review okay so that's another tip so now i want to bring in another text here are we following guys so it's our call to action now so now change the color first of all add padding to make it 4 4 change the color to black then go to font let's be using this arm wrestler okay go to spacing later spacing this one make it five five make it six you can bold it you can bold it then you place it there go to sizing make it 38 then we want to bring in another text again okay at Rexis and Tor. Are we following guys? Yes. So this is how to design a logo for a business for a hair sales business. Using it, make it visible. Place it in the center. So we'll pick a font for this. Let's use this Samaritan bold this time. Don't forget, we are not using more than three fonts. Go to sizing, make it 32, 32, then color black. Okay, and you can move it to the back. Are we following guys? Are we following? You can change the color of that color, okay? And change it to something lighter. Make it bright. And you can give it this. You can leave it like this, okay? So designing is technique. You have to be creative, guys. So, and we learn every day. Okay? Make sure you use your real line, align your work, make your work straight, make your work look professional, okay? Yes, it's straight now, so let's align this too. I move, see, move this one back a bit. Then move this one to this side. Are we following, guys? Can you see how straight our work is? So now let's take the shape up a bit. Place it there. Now I want to bring in another text. We'll be using this font, this other service font. So we just read it here. Right, thanks for trusting and patronizing us. Are we following? So, 
Let's increase the size of this. Which is in the center. Make sure this is in the center too. Are we following guys? Bring all your work to the center. Let's place this one in the center properly. And you see, you have to arrange your work. Make sure all the icons are of the same sizes. Try your best to make sure they're in the same size. Okay. <coughs> So our design is almost up. Are we following? Can you see? So our work is almost up now. And um After you see that your work is properly placed in the center, you can increase this a bit and take it up. Take it up. Use your position, you place it in the center. Then you lock everything. Lock everything. If it's a project you are doing for somebody, you leave the, you leave it like leave all these layers like this. Don't merge. Then you save it on PCL app. You can say um on merge for instance on merge then you okay it so that you can edit it in future now you can bring in a background if you have already downloaded you can as well use a back background the back color okay to present your work so our design is up guys, can you see? Look for the background, I'll display everything. Let's use this one then, okay, you can now save it on your phone. Ultra, you can leave it as JPEG, you can save it as PNG. So guys, this is how to design a logo mock-up for our business that carries our address and our social media handle. Okay guys, so... I'm very happy to present to you and thank you once again my esteemed audience good day guys hope you're all doing fine now this is a short video okay you have your design now like this okay your, your mock-up your logo design mock-up is ready like this now you want to save it on your phone as png okay saving a work from pixel lab as png this is how to do it make sure it's on this layer this layer okay that your cursor is on this layer this one that is showing blue this one this one okay make sure it's on it so once you is on it can you see this transparency this transparency you click on it click on it can you see now it has gone to transparent how it is now you can use it anywhere you can use it on canva on photoshop and even on pixel lab you can edit it you can use it on any background so you now see it's as easy as that can you see it's on png now you come here to make it be on ultra then you save so that's how to put your work as png on pixel lab okay so let's save this as project you know? Okay guys, 